how to make your first condition zero map go to file new select condition zero you can just do whatever you want really so now you have four views top left is a 3d view you can click on camera to get different uh, options we're just going to go on 3d shaded textured polygons on the right is the top down view and in the top left we can click on this again and we can see that it's the top down view showing the x and the y or the x and whatever this is the side view uh, from the side and this is the front view from the front um, yeah you'll you'll figure out which of which in testing and making a map when you use the 3d anyway uh, you can hover over your mouse over the 3d view and press Z and then you can move around with WASD in the mouse like you're in no clip in Counter Strike. Uh, this blue thing is you. This is where you spawn. Uh, you can double click on it with this selection tool uh, selected. Double click on him and it says Info Player Starts. So this is an entity and this is what you use for player starts and for enemies and for lights and stuff. You can press the X button and over here is a light. It doesn't look like it, but it is, as you can see. The brightness here, if, if you click on it, is 255, 255, 255, 200. The first three 255s are the color, and then the last one is the brightness. You can pick color here, and you see that the first three numbers change. So you, when you press the X button, it saves it automatically. It saves the entity changes automatically. So you see that everything doesn't look very good because it doesn't look very good. So to change this, you can go over to browse in the texture thing. And, uh, no, don't, not that. We want to do like a floor. So we can search for like, whoops, we can search for floor. Uh, here we go. That's good. Elevator floor. And then you can click on a box. These are called brushes, by the way. You can click on them using the selection tool and then click this button, which is the apply current texture to selection. And what this does is it takes the texture from here and puts it on the on the block or the brush. So you can click this and you can see now it's changed to a nice texture. Wow. So now we're going to get a wall texture. Uh, here's a nice one. And we can just apply it to these walls. But this is a bit tedious and so what you want to do is you want to just have it so you can just click and it applies to a wall so you can do this by just clicking on this and this is the texture application mode click on that and this window will come up so you can then click on a face of a block and then right click on a different face of a different block and it will um, apply the texture of the first face onto that face using the same properties so if I did 0.5 here and then click to apply or enter and I then click this and then right clicks on this it would keep all of these settings and put it on this face as well but of course we don't want 0 0.5 we want 1 there you go we have walls now we just want a ceiling also inside of this you can press yeah you, you can click browse and let's say we want a ceiling uh, there we go that's good we can just click on this we can then uh, go up to our ceiling and then right click on it and there we go we have our ceiling and so if you want to create a new brush you click on this button which is the block creation tool and you can just drag in one of the 2d views also if you think this isn't uh, this is like too small of a grid size you can go up to here and this is plus and it makes the grid bigger and this is minus and it makes the grid smaller you, you can also do this by the two square brackets to the left of your enter button or to the right of your P button two square brackets there uh, so once you've made it and you think it looks good in all of the views you can click the enter button and this will make it and then you can click the selection tool and click on it and then you can resize it and all that afterwards and move it about so that's how you make a block yeah so now if we run this game at the moment this map at the moment we just want to save it let's just call it awesome these are my settings, these are probably what you'll have because they're good. I check don't run the game because I don't want it to run the game. Click OK. And you see that it compiles really quickly because it's just one room and it's gold source so it's really old and really fast because new hardware. Anyway, 
Go, uh, now you want to launch the game if you haven't already. And what you want to do is you want to open the map from the console. So press your console key, whatever that is, and then you want to type map space and then your map name. In our case, it's awesome because it's an awesome map. There you go, you have your floating block. Uh, you can move and there's your light source. 